Hello all, in this video I'm going to uh, show you a few more layer functions. I really do like to play with layer functions even though I don't paint on a lot of layers. Uh, and this is going to be the last stage before I go into color. If I kept my mouth shut and <laughs> wasn't talking while I paint, uh, I would just be a few minutes in uh, at this stage. Uh, and, uh, and then this is the final stage just before I start to go to, to color. I like playing with grayscale to get everything set before I start going into um, glazing with the digital water. And I will show you that uh, in a uh, subsequent video. Um, but here we're just going to select all and copy paste and we will go ahead and paste again. So I'll have three layers up here of the exact same image. And on this one, uh, I'll turn this one off and on this one we're going to go to uh, multiply. So as I multiply you see how dark it gets. Uh, and I don't want it so dark but I do want to play with the values here. Yes, I can use, use tonal control but I uh, generally do this quickly so that I can get to the desired effect that I like. So that's about where I like the darks. So I'm going to grab my eraser tool and I have the soft eraser, but I'm going to drop the opacity down on the eraser to about well, 50, 58 percent, doesn't really matter. Um, and I will scale that up and I'm going to erase back out this light side just a little bit more create a nice uh, contrast to the dark side, just barely touching in over here uh, using the uh, sensitivity of the tablet. Um, and let's say I like that. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, come back here and I will take this layer and I'm going to um, do an overlay. And so you see this gets a little bit lighter up in here. And I don't necessarily want all of this darkness in here. so. Um, I will stay with the eraser tool and pull some of that back out, allowing it to get be kind of dark in some areas uh, for contrast, especially under these areas in here. We get just very lightly pull out some of that uh, uh, dark and we'll pull it out here. And so now uh, I've got a uh, nice range of value. Uh, to go to color. And again, um, I'm just using an object here, uh, the simple tree, uh, to show you a number of these effects, but I would do this to an overall painting. And in a subsequent uh, video, I'll show you how to block uh, in a uh, full environment uh, using the digital water. Um, but I use all of these techniques uh, in just about all my paintings. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Yeah.